Hello and welcome to an Excel bot tutorial. In this tutorial, I will talk to you about the calculation of the in Excel formulas. More specifically, I will explain the three rules that determine the calculation of the in Excel formulas. So let's get started. When calculating formulas, Excel follows a certain calculation order. This order is determined by three rules. Precedence rule, left to right rule, and parenthesis rule. Precedence rule states that when there are several calculation operators in a formula, Excel follows this order when performing operations. It first performs operations that contain reference operators, then applies negation, then calculates percent, then exponentiation, then multiplication and division, addition and subtraction, concatenation, and final comparison. For example, let's write a formula here that contains all types of calculation operators in Excel and see how the precedence rule applies to its calculation. Equal sign minus sum a1 to b1 raised to the power of 2 plus 15 divided by 3 minus 2 multiplied by 7 percent and percent 9 greater than 10. Let's press enter and the result is true. So here first the sum function which contains a reference operator is calculated and then negation is applied to the result of the function. Then percent is calculated and then exponentiation, division, multiplication, addition and subtraction are performed. At the end, the result of these operations is concatenated with 9 and the final result is compared to 10 to see if it's greater than 10 or not. And the result is true because the result of these operations, let's delete this, is 68.869 and that's greater than 10. Let's add greater than 10 again. Okay. The second rule that determines the calculation of the in Excel formulas is left to right rule, which states that when a formula contains operations with the same level of precedence, such as multiplication and division, or addition and subtraction, Excel calculates them from left to right. So when calculating this formula, Excel first divides 15 by 3 and then multiplies 2 by 7%. Similarly, Excel first adds 5, the result of this division, to 64, the result of these two operations, and then subtracts 0 0.14, which is the result of 2 multiplied by 7% from it. Finally, the third rule that determines the calculation of the in Excel formulas is parenthesis rule. According to this rule, when a formula contains parentheses, the operations within them are performed first. This means that you can always change the order of precedence by using parentheses. Simply include the part of a formula you want to be calculated first in parentheses. For example, let's see how the result of this formula will change if we add parentheses to it. Let's add an opening parentheses here and a closing parentheses here. So, as you see, now the parentheses include the whole formula except the negation operator. Now let's press enter and the result is false. It's because the part of the formula within parentheses is calculated first, which gives the result, let's delete this again, 68.869, and then negation is applied, which gives the result minus 68.869. And since minus 68 is less than 10, the formula gives the result false. So, these are three rules that determine the calculation of the in Excel formulas. Thanks for watching and I hope you found it useful.